everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maisie. So today is a plant chores afternoon. Um, I've got a few plant chores to do, repotting, staking some on a moss pole, and I also want to chop and propagate one. Um, so yeah. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Just gonna make up just gonna make up some more soil i've got cocoa core already in here just gonna add oh i need a mask i I don't really have like specific measurements of what I, how I make my soil. I just kind of wing it and, um, but I have linked everything that I use uh, down in the description. Oh, gonna need some more kid bark. adding a bit of lacquer as well and finally I'm just adding Osmo coat to my soil mix mixture as well also links below Okay, so the first plant that I'm going to be doing is my Syngonium Albo. She's been in desperate need of a repot for a while and I'm going to be putting her on a pole today, which I'm so excited for. So I'm actually going to do that first. Um, I can take this off now. <sighs> so I'm using the Thickly Grow Poles. I've actually, I actually got these from, I think it was Eastern Tropicals. Um, I get my Thickly Grow Poles from there. Um, this is like their new version. Um, so they're a lot, a lot thicker and they've got like the honeycomb poles instead and they're cheaper than just kind of buying from the actual thickly grow site um so i'm just bending them in okay and i've actually got um quite a few holes so you can choose how how tight and how loop like how uh you know the shape not the shape you know what i mean you can choose how you want to uh to do that i don't want this too big actually so let's start filling it with some moss i have got some here okay i've got some moss here but i think i'm gonna need way more so i've got some out there that i'm gonna have to hydrate um i'm just gonna basically start filling Time is standing still as I let go of your cold hand I threw it, the lips are dry and all the things we'd planned Were never what you wanted, we've been lying from the start Guess I knew it, just ignored it, I let go of your cold hand I guess I saw it coming, yet it took me by surprise Oh, oh But if there's nothing left then I will just crack a smile Oh Oh I had a million different things to do And every one of them included you We had a million Hey, ooh Oh, okay, don't do that, don't do that Oh my gosh, what is going on? Okay, the poll is done that looks really good. Um, okay, let me just get the pot. 
I actually think I'm going to move her into this terracotta pot. Um, uh, I think that's a good size and with the moss pole as well. So I'm just going to take her out of the pot. Let's actually get rid of these stakes. She is so root bound. Whoa, okay. Oh my word. <sighs> you see those roots? Okay. Not bad. I'm actually going to reuse this soil because it's quite new. I'm just going to fill the bottom of the pot. Okay, oh my gosh, I don't even think this moss pole is going to fit. Oh no. Oh my word. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I'm not entirely sure about this. I'm just trying to position it up the pole. The leaves are literally all just getting squished. Uh, okay, I think it's more like a plank. It looks more like a plank. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. I'm actually thinking of maybe I'm a bit to chop and pop this. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm back. Oh, this is not stable. This is not stable. This moss pole is literally just gonna come out. very flint oh my gosh yeah i'm gonna change it to the <clears throat> okay i'm just gonna put the moss pole in actually first okay that should be better and let's just pick it up a little bit One is done. Oh, I need to tape it to the pole, but I'm actually going to chuck that in my pop box. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, so next I'm gonna actually repot my squammy ferrum. It's been in Lekka, but I want to transfer it to soil. Um, it has got a new leaf on the way, which is not great. Um, I'd rather not do it when it's got a new leaf on the way, um, but while I'm here, I might as well. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it in this pot, but just change it to lacquer. Okay. Healthy roots. transfer okay because it's been in there for such a long time um i just think it will do i think it will do a little bit better in the soil now that the lecker's kind of recovered it and um put it on the right track i think soil is the next step there you go there is her okay next what i want to do is i actually want to chop up my amazonii she is she's so unhappy she's been like this for ages she's just got two leaves and I'm just going to basically chop up all these nodes and um yeah I think I'm just going to leave I think I'm just going to leave the mother plant in the pot and just basically chop um I think I'm going to start from here Oof. I don't know if these will activate but oh pest okay I've accidentally just chopped off this leaf Oh well, at least I've got the nice leaf. There, I've got this one cutting. Um, and individual nodes, which I'll just chuck in my polite pot box. I'm just gonna take one more cutting actually. There. Um, see if this does anything. Should I put this in water or perlite? I think I might do it in water. That is such a lovely leaf. This could be such a nice plant. Okay, so just while I'm here, um, I've got some string of hearts propagations, and I definitely need to change the water. So I'm going to change the water and put my Ansonii in the water as well. I think while I'm here, I might just take some more cuttings from my pothos. Oh, look at this leaf. It's so shiny. Because I've just got this one long vine. I have got loads of cuttings to plant back at the top, um, which I still need to do. But I think I'm just going to cut up this vine again and then I can plant it back into the pot again. I actually think I'm going to propagate this in water this time. Um, if I can squeeze it in. Okay, just while I'm here, I wanted to quickly unbox something. Okay, this just came. Oh, I've been wanting one of these for ages. I got this from Amazon. Ooh. Um, I've been wanting one of these for ages, just to kind of help with my lighting. Um, because, because I've got to make my videos when it's like sunny out and there's good lighting. And trying to, and trying to like stand up. Um, my phone to film it's kind of a nightmare so i finally got one okay this is the, the tripod okay oh oh nice oh cool Okay, we've got the tripod. Oh, ooh. oh, 
more this extends. Oh, that's better. There you go, that's how long it is. Oh, I think it even extends more. No. There, that's... That is pretty long. Okay, it's done. Yay! That was a lot easier than I thought. And then these is like a desktop tripod, which will be handy. Um, yeah, you've got a wireless remote. That is so cool. <laughs> Pretty bright. Oh my gosh, this is good. This is really good. Hello. Oh, my eye is bleeding. Ignore the mess on the floor, but okay. So I might as well put it to good use. Let me show you the plants that I have repotted today. Okay. So I still need to take uh, her to the pole. There is my Syngonium elbow. She's literally all over the place. <laughs> um, I think mean, she's in a nice big pot with a nice pole. I, I love these poles. Look at these leaves. Um, so I'm going to water her and water the moss pole. And then I'm going to tape her to the moss pole as well. Okay, we've also got my Squamiferum. A new leaf on the way probably will be a little bit stunted now but oh well and my cute little gloriosa and i also repotted my el choco red off screen for my acclimation video but um here's a little sneak peek and also my anthurium uh, warroquianum i'm not entirely sure if Putting anthurium in terracotta is um, a good idea, but, um, you know, I'll soon find out. And I've got some moss at the top as well. And finally, my regale. I put it in this clear pot and it's good, I can keep an eye on the roots as well. Okay, um, that is all the chores I'm going to be doing for today. I'm so happy that I finally got some done. I will be back in a few days. This video will probably be, this video will probably be over. I can't speak. This video, this video will probably be over the next few days because there's some more chores that I want to do. So I will see you in a minute or in a few days. This is why I wore a hat. Okay, it's been a few days. It's now Tuesday. And I've just discovered aphids on some of my plants. So um, I thought that would include it in this video because that has now become a chore to do. So I need to now go through them all and make, uh, find out which one has aphids. Well, I'm, I think I'm just going to treat them all, to be honest. Um, I just, the one that I just found it on, I just found it on my Gloriosum. Um, I was just kind of examining this new leaf and I noticed this damage and I was just kind of checking it over just in case it had any pests and it's got little aphids. I don't know if you can see, um, but now, yeah, I just need to, there's only a couple, oh no wait, there's more on this leaf as well. Um, I should not be touching this, but, um. Yeah, I need to just go through them all, so I think that's that's just what I'm going to do. Oh. 
I mean, luckily it's not thrips or anything. Oh, look at my new leaf. <gasps> had some but I um this actually might be the cause because I noticed quite a few and I just washed her down and I kind of forgot to 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 treat her so I actually think she might be the the cause which is kind of my fault really because I forgot to treat her um I think that's it to be honest I did just check my floor plants the other day um but I will check them again so now I'm just going to take them in the shower and just spray them down I would rather wash the leaves off, but the most but most of these have not long already had water, so I don't really want to be overwatering them. So I'm just gonna spray them down for now. Okay, so what I'm using to treat my plants is this Provento. I use it um, basically for everything. The only one that I've actually found aphids on is just my Gloriosum, but the one well and my Caladium, but the rest that I have um, pulled in the shower just look a little bit uh, suspicious, you know. Okay, they are all sprayed. I'm just gonna leave them there to dry out for a bit. I think that's what I'm gonna do with the treating and the aphids. But first things first, I need a coffee. I'm just gonna kind of tidy up this kind of area while I feel up to it. Um, it's a really, <laughs> it's a mess. Literally, I've just gotten everything on my giant African land snails tank, and like my Singonium elbow is here, and I just kind of want to organise things a little bit. I will be redoing my ladder shelf as well at some some point in this video, so stay tuned for that. And also, I do want to at some point kind of redo my windowsill as well. I. I've just had it like this for such a long time and um, yeah, I think I will be rearranging that and redoing it, hoovering <laughs> as well. Okay, so I'm just going to do that and I'll be back when that is all done, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of done. Um, but I'm just like, I keep looking at my ladder and it's just such a mess. It would just be so much easier if my bottom shelf was actually cleared so that I could put, you know, everything that I don't need, like spare lecker. You know, I just have that laying around because because I don't have the space. So I think I am just gonna um, actually sort out this ladder. I am in the mood to do that. Rearrange all my plants. It should be good. So okay, let's do this.
I just don't know how else to arrange it so I'll just give you a quick little tour got my very custom hair obviously my splendid I'm not sure how I feel about this first shelf obviously it's very very crowded I just got my two biggest plants on the next shelf is where kind of all my small plants are um so I've got my regale here my anthurium crystal um silver blush <laughs> crystal hope I was gonna say um I've got my alocasia cupria my brazil gloriosum I'm gonna actually quarantine that because that's the one with the aphids I'm just leaving it in here for this video um and then we've got my scrummy ferrum at the bottom which is putting out a new leaf and my humidifier there and then the third shelf kind of a little bit hectic my El Choco red my rojo congo and beautiful monstera and i've actually made use of this shelf a little bit more as well got my florida ghost cuttings my begonia maculata and my melanocrysum not sure how that's going to do there because um because obviously the humidity is like up here so i'll just see how she goes um and then i've got my queen anthurium that i put there i wanted to kind of include her somehow but she's just a bit, she's a bit too big um oh, and on the bottom shelf um so past the leaves i've just got a couple pots stacked my dishes water bottle clippers this is the ellensonia mother plant that i chopped um and then behind that just got a couple products that i use moisture meter osmo coat things like that so yeah and then the floor plants are about the same i'm also going to quarantine my uh, caladium as well so now it's just a case of where i put my syngonium because she's currently on my tank and she's so big i don't think she can fit on my window now um but uh, yeah I don't know when i move this because i'm going to move this to the spare bedroom so then i can have a few more plants on the floor just here um so i would like her just kind of as a floor plant a big nice big like a tall moss pole plant i think i'm just gonna have to keep her here for now there you go that is what it looks like with all the grow lights actually you know what i think i'm a lot happier with this whole setting um i think it looks way more organized and more like a jungle you know that's how i want it um so yeah i think i actually do like this and that's going to be the end to this plant chores video i did want to do a little bit more i wanted to rearrange my my windowsill actually i'll just show you quickly I did kind of rearrange as you can see i hung up my string of pearls which i absolutely love i am actually gonna repot her um and sort out how she looks in this pot because at the minute she's she's not she's not looking exactly how i want but she just looks so beautiful in the sun um and also my string of spades up here which i'm absolutely loving i put my spider plant here instead it was over there my pothos is there right now i am gonna hang that up on my windowsill eventually i'm just need to get some hooks but yeah that's kind of what i've done i think i'm just gonna leave it there for this video i really do hope that you enjoyed please if you did enjoy this video please give it a like and please feel free to comment we can have a little plant chit chat and i will see you in my next video bye guys